Hello, I'm Wayne with ModularHydro.com. Today we're going to talk about how to use the AIG grid. Many people use it in many different ways. The idea of the AIG grid is the air injection technology is it supplies a lot of air and oxygen to the size of the container you're using. Now today we're going to give you an innovative, unique idea that we've come up with and it works extremely well, believe me on this. What you're going to do is you're going to, you're going to design and build your own aeroponics type system. And I'll tell you, let me explain how that works. There's so much air that comes out of the AIT, it's not going to, your plants aren't going to know the difference. So if you're going to build your own cloning tray, we're going to show you how to do that today. Now let's take a look at the amount of air that's emitted from the AIT. And we're going to build an inexpensive cloning system where you can clip your plants, plug them, basically plug and play. And let's show you how to do that. Okay, now that you have a close-up of what we've done is we've taken a 20 by 10 standard propagation tray. You can buy anywhere on the website, any hydroponic store, or any uh, plant nursery is going to have these trays. And what we did was we built a floating raft system. And what I mean by that is we simply took styrofoam one half inch thick and the styrofoam we used was 12 by 12s. We cut them down and each one of those pieces of styrofoam we cut a half inch hole. Okay? And on the end of that styrofoam where the air lines are going to come out, we just notched it so that fits the air lines coming out. If you want to use a Humidity dome or not, that's fine. We find out that this technology works extremely well without the humidity dome. Now, on top of that, we cut little tiny two inch squares. You can make yours smaller or larger. Or if you want to use neoprene inserts that are two inch round, that you can purchase that use in a uh, aeroponics type system and cut a two inch hole and place that on top, it's up to you. In fact, we welcome your emails. If you come up with a better, better idea than we do, that's fine. We'd love to hear from you. But let's go ahead and explain to you what we're doing and how we're doing it. These little two inch squares we cut, we simply took a small Phillips screwdriver, punched the hole through, rounded that out, and then we're gonna cut our clone or our, our cutting with a razor blade and we're simply going to do that on an angle okay and we're going to peel the bottom leaves off and we just want about two inches of stem so what we're going to do is we're going to plug that stem in okay and you can see that sticking out about an inch and then we're going to plug that into our system the sooner you do this the better results you're going to get and I'll tell you why this plant is not going to experience any shock whatsoever, none. And the reason why is the tip of that stem is actually in that oxygenated water. It's boiling. That stem does not know the difference between aeroponics and deep water culture at this point, even though this is somewhat a deep water culture floating raft type system. It's the air injection technology that's doing the trick. That stem is going to receive lots of air, lots of oxygen, and no shock. Within 15, 20 minutes from now, these leaves are actually going to look more plump than they are now because they're getting the amount of air and oxygen they need. Now let's take a look at the inside of this system. The reason why we did a floating raft and this technology here where we plug the plant through, and we'll lay that down and show you this again. But I'm going to show you something else I want to do. If you're not using the neoprene type inserts, take a razor blade and just simply cut through part way because later on what's going to happen is when this thing produces roots and you're going to pull this out of this half inch hole because we're going to use these floating trays for many months to come, many hundreds of clones. You're going to be able to break that away and pull the roots out quite quickly. So let's replug that, okay? And you notice we're not using any what? Rooting gel. We're not using any 
hormones. So those of you who are conscientious about using hormones on your plants, it's not needed with this system. If you want to use rooting gel or cloning gel, fine, use it, that's up to you. If you want to use a humidity dome, fine, that's up to you. We're showing you, you don't need all that. Now let's take a look at under the system. The amount of air and oxygen that is emitted is phenomenal. And that's why your plants don't really understand or know the difference between aeroponics where you're spraying up with your emitters and your water pump. And by the way, it's, it's strictly an air pump that's driving this system. You don't need a water pump. You don't have emitters that are cloggy. You don't have leaks. There is no leaks. It's only two and a half inches high. So it's ergonomically, it's very well ergonomically designed. Now let's go ahead and lift our second raft where we're growing over time. I'm going to show you different intervals and different days, seven to 10 days on two of these plants. And let's show you the actual roots. Now here's the big difference. Let's take a look at those. Can you see those? These roots are super white and they're super crisp because they're getting highly oxygenated air to them all the time. So this is way overkill. This, this should have been transplanted two or three days ago. This by tomorrow will look like this. That once, once you actually see roots, it's going to grow like a weed. So after about five to six days, you want to really keep an eye on your plants because they're going to grow roots super fast. Now the other thing is no shock. And what I mean by that is that plant that we just plugged, you're not going to have any shock. You're not going to see the leaves wilt. There's going to be no difference. If you do see a little bit of wilt, the odds are it took, took you too long to plug into the water. So the plant was voided from water and it did shock, but you're not going to see any shock. So that's the reason why we don't have to use the uh, hormones or the uh, rooting gel. This is one of my ideas. I'm just showing you how to build your own um, equivalent to an aeroponics type system, very low profile. There's nothing to it. It's very simple. You can go to modularhydro.com, order your AIT. It comes in many, many different sizes and build your own system or your own deep water culture system. The idea is the amount of oxygen and air, even coverage throughout the grow tray or the hydroponic system. And really that's all there is to it. It's pretty much uh, very simple, uh, very forgiving. And now on this system, I'm not gonna add water. I simply adjusted my pH. I added one quarter teaspoon of uh, dry nutrients because I want, I want my plants kind of ready for uh, the same nutrient I'm gonna use to grow the plant when I do decide to plug it into my favorite hydroponic system. So I do, I do want a little bit of nutrients, but very minute amount. You can experiment, experiment with this. Email me, let me know how you like the system. Let me know, uh, uh, maybe you're trying something different, I don't know. But this is just a very inexpensive way to emulate a aeroponics type system without the headaches, without the leaks, without the water pump, the cost of electricity. There's so many, so many positives to this simple system. It pretty much is idiot proof. Again, I'm Wayne with ModularHydro.com. Let's do a quick recap. We just showed you how to use the AIT air injection technology to build your own aeroponics equivalent or type system. Even though it's DWC, floating raft, you can do it in many different ways. The key point is you just want to simply make sure when you cut your plant from the mother, you want to make sure you just simply have a couple inches and it really is plug and play. So when I plug this in, plug it into my raft, I'm done. I'll come back five to seven days later and I'm going to have roots this long. That's really it. No rooting gel, no hormones. So those folks that are conscientious about using hormones on their plants, fine. You're not, it's not needed. Now, the other thing we did do is we actually placed this tray under a, a 100 watt CFL compact fluorescent light system and they did fantastic. So minimal effort, uh, no cloning gel, just 
pretty much idiot proof. It, it truly is plug and play. You don't have to do anything. Very low profile, a simple two outlet air pump with a couple air lines, your air injection technology, and your uh, cloning tray. And that's really it. If you have any other ideas or try different things that work better than this, email us, send us photos. We'd love to hear from you. We're just giving you DIY ideas on how to grow better and grow bigger. Again, I'm Wayne with ModularHydro.com. Thank you.